Hi everyone, welcome to researchandy.com. This is uh, Dr. Pramil. I work as a chief medical officer and also associate professor of medicine, um, one of the biggest medical schools in the United States. So we're going to continue our journey into the herbal medication and their toxicities, okay? Um, again, I wanted to make sure uh, our purpose is not to put the herbal medications down. Herbal medicine have like a lot of good uh, properties, okay? Uh, but at the same time, we need to know it can also, just like any other drug, it can also cause complications and the side effects. So it's very important to educate the public. Um, when it comes to herbal medicine, like everybody I talk to say like, yeah, it's a herbal medicine, no toxicity. But my friends, it's not true, okay? So today we're going to look at another drug. So we're going to look at, um, our purpose today is going to teach you about the side effects of the Valeria root uh, that is the main purpose of today's talk okay and now let's look at when you talk about valeri what does that mean valeri means good health okay and where does it usually found um, this plant is uh, pretty much everywhere like Europe Asia even in America so you can find it okay and um, studies have I mean literature have uh, reported that Greek and Romans are using um, this drug for a very long time before okay now what do we use this valerian root for um, they use for like mainly people have been using for insomnia as as like a sleep aid a depression um, postmenopausal syndrome like or menstrual symptoms headache it's a sedative and it's also like a hypnotic properties to it okay uh, now let's look at how does people usually take this valerian root. They make the extract and, and people usually drink it as a tea. Okay, um, those are the way people usually consume it. Now let's look at what the components of uh, valerian root. You got valeric acid, you got alkaloids, you got iridoids, and uh, uh, amino acids like GABA, tyrosine, glutamine also uh, found it. That's what the pretty much the sedative effects come into this, uh, come into the picture. Okay, now again, all of our studies are we do extensive literature search based on research. So, the first study we looked at is a meta analysis or systematic review looking at the valerian root. Okay, it's actually published by Diana TB um, and it's published in the sleep medicine. And let's see what we uh, find out in this study. Okay, when we look at the study, main, th main symptoms were reported for gastrointestinal symptoms like nausea, vomiting, abdominal cramps, abdominal pain. Uh, patients have been reporting fatigue, chest tightness, dizziness, uh, funny taste or metallic taste in the mouth, in daytime drowsiness um, uh, or midriasis like the pupillary change has also been reported, tremors uh, of the hand that's also been reported in this study. Now what we're going to do is like look at case reports. Sometimes we, when we do, um, you know, find out like what are the unusual cases or unusual complications, it's usually reported in the scientific literature as case reports. So we're going to look at the first case report and what are they uh, looked at, I mean, what are, what are their findings. In this case report, the first case report, there was a patient came in, um, there was a middle-aged female, came with a, a, a toxicity, I mean toxicity means she overdosed on uh, um, valerian root and that results in um, uh, mental status changes encephalopathy um, headache and a lot of tim a lot of symptoms going to cns symptoms were developed uh, after taking this it's like a toxicity okay next uh, case report we looked at it's a 47 year old patient who was taking valerian root and they developed a, dr a drug induced autoimmune uh, hope autoimmune hepatitis i mean liver damage was done um, liver function tests were elevated. What they did was they stopped. I mean, this patient has been taking the drug for like three months, but when they stopped the drugs and they gave some steroids, like we treat autoimmune hepatitis usually with steroids, and the patient, um, luckily, the symptoms disappeared and came back to normal. The next case report we looked at is a 81 year old uh, patient uh, came with the tiredness and dizziness and they looked at the lab and the sodium level was extremely low at 122. So they treated her uh, usually with the fluid restriction and then she got better. 
Okay. Um, now let's look at the next. Um, we're just going to talk about the drug interaction a little bit. Um, the main uh, the drugs which are metabolized by like C CY3, 4A, um, uh, like um, a statin and warfarin can can have drug interaction with the valerian root. Okay. It can also, um, I mean, if you're careful when you're taking barbiturates, sedatives, you can drug interaction and uh, uh, potentiate the effect, okay? So you get more sedated like really easily. Um, then we look at another case report, a um, patient in 27 year old in Nicaragua, they developed uh, uh, hepatotoxicity. That means her liver failure happened. Again, all, all these cases when the drug was stopped, there was a significant um, improvement, okay? Um, so next patient we just looked at is uh, pretty much, it's not about uh, the toxic effect, but um, it's, uh, it's a patient who was taking and then all of a sudden stopped and then into withdrawal and caused like delirium kind of symptoms, okay? So in those situations, what we need to understand is uh, if you are taking valerian root for a long time, don't like stop it like all of a sudden. Maybe gradually you want to wean it off, otherwise you can go into withdrawal symptoms like delirium and can develop complications, okay? Um, again, thank you so much for watching our presentation. Please, please subscribe to our channel so we can make more presentations like this. God bless.